what's going on guys Dustin here and welcome back for another daily destiny video in this video we're gonna be talking about the dreadnought yes the dreadnought coming with the taken king now if you've not seen the bungee weekly update I suggest you do so they drop some juicy details about the dreadnought and it looks fucking awesome let's check it out alright so bungee started us out with the mood that they wanted us to feel as we were walking through the Dreadnought, they explained it like so. It was important to us that you would feel the scale as you move through the holes of the Dreadnought, never sure about what to expect as large spaces condensed to claustrophobic tunnels before revealing an entirely new area of the ship. A sense of wonder about the unknown is what drove a lot of the special design. It was an incredibly fun challenge to find the right balance between a mysterious tomb ship and the flagship for the Taken fleet. To capture the idea of this unfathomable threat, a monstrous spaceship captained by the Taken King, yet filled with vast caverns and unknown passages. I can't wait for players to explore and discover, and discover all of its secrets. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds fucking incredible and I cannot wait to get my hands on that. So let's talk a little bit more about uh, the design of the Dreadnought. Bungie says that way back during the planning of the Dreadnought's design, Luke Smith challenged them to create an inscrutable loot-filled fortress. Fuck yes. The challenge was an awesome piece of direction and went a long way towards inspiring our efforts. We had an opportunity to improve upon the design of our worlds and destiny, and the results are evidence of how excited this made us. Oh my god, just reading this stuff is just getting me so pumped up from the Taken King that I can't even wait. So along with the amazing design that Bungie did on the Dreadnought, there's lots of more to do. And so Bungie describes this as, We've created a suite of new mechanics and woven them into the patrol mode. Every week, every day even, it will draw you back to fight through its depths for loot and glory. Expect to find new bounties, patrol missions, and public events, both large and small. Some of which you can even instigate yourself, if you can discover how. Now that's just awesome. I love figuring out puzzles in games, especially a game like this. Figuring out all of those puzzles that they're going to put in the Dreadnought is just going to be so fun. It's really going to be a time to gather up your fire teammates and your clanmates and find all those nooks and crannies because there's going to be hidden loot everywhere, changing all the time, and it's going to be really fun to just look and look and look. I'm sure there's going to be uh, hours upon hours of game time for everybody looking, on, uh, looking up these chests and these secret puzzles that they're throwing in there. But of course, the loot does not come without a challenge. Bungie explains this as, we play a lot of Destiny around here, and as, as a result, we're always designing new ways to challenge players. Within Oryx's behemoth ship, you'll likely find more challenging public events than anything else you've ever attempted before on patrol. How to succeed won't be obvious at first, but the rewards will be worth your effort. Get ready to fight bosses and encounters in surprising combinations of circumstances, and look to your fellow guardians for help. Reading all of this is really making me believe that Bungie has been listening to us this entire time and they are doing an amazing job at bringing us what we actually really want, which is a harder um, game and a more better story, uh, more surprises for us. Because um, right now I feel like the story and patrol missions are just way, 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 way too easy and too simple for us to do and we don't get rewards good enough in the patrol to even really play it. So I feel like Bungie is stepping up their game in patrol and it's going to be fucking nuts. I mean, it's a time that you can just gather all your friends, you're going to find secrets every day, and it's just going to be absolutely amazing. Let's check out one of the new Hive Ultras, Dark Blade. To me, the Dark Blade definitely looks like a badass uh, Hive Knight on steroids. Looks pretty fucking sick. Bungie says the Dark Blade, along with many other Hive Abominations, are waiting for us on board the Dreadnought. Oryx has built an army for them to lead, bristling with combatants that were taken in quotations, from our world, twisted by the darkness and sent back to prevent you from looting their fortress. Sounds fucking incredible and just, I cannot even wait. And so, an awesome thing about this is, at the end of the weekly update, uh, Bungie announced they are going to do a Twitch before, um, a Twitch stream before the Taken King comes out to show us, uh, the inside of the Dreadnought, which is going to be fucking badass and I cannot wait for that. It's going to be so cool. So with all this information, there's a lot for us to think about and uh, be excited about for the Taken King. And I cannot tell you how excited I am. I will have uh, everything up that I can do on the first night and the first day and the first week. Even the first 
months of Destiny up on this channel, and I can't freaking wait. It's going to be nonstop fun uh, finding all those secret chests and puzzles and what not to do around there. So, I hope this informed you guys a little bit more on the Dreadnought. Of course, go check out the uh, regular Bungie Weekly update, the full update, so you guys can get a little bit more information than just on this video. But, either way, I hope this informed you more than you already know. So, if you liked, go ahead and drop a like and leave a comment. Also, subscribe for more daily Destiny videos. As always, I will see you tomorrow. Peace.